All right, welcome back everybody. We are here with Gareth Jones of the Real Estate Institute of Canada. Gareth is the Vice President of Corporate Development. And now Gareth, most realtors have probably interacted with your organization, whether they knew it or not, at some point in time with, with certifications and stuff. But um, um, thank you so much for coming on the show. And you actually said you had a gratitude for us. Right, I do actually. Um, I, I like that idea at the beginning of the session to say, you know, what are you grateful for? Um, and so my gratitude is the opportunity to uh, have 30 years experience in the business uh, as a brokerage manager, as a broker, as a residential specialist, oh. as a commercial specialist, as a financial, commercial financial specialist. Wow. To actually create the position that I'm in. Um, because I recognize that there is such a need for education all across Canada. So I managed to create this position that I have now as staff, as a member of REIC, and also as faculty. So I have sort of three different positions rolled into one, um, and I, I got uh, exposure to the REIC organization a number of years ago when I got my FRI, and I realized that REIC is probably one of the most undervalued not-for-profit organizations in the entire country. So um, I put forward a proposal to REIC saying that you need somebody to go out there and spread the word about REIC. It's true. And they took me up on my offer. Nice. So I left the brokerage business and went straight into REIC, and I've lived happily ever after. <laughs> nice. I like That's that. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Kick us off, Audra. Okay, <clears throat> so can you tell us what is REIC? REIC is the Real Estate Institute of Canada. Uh, we're a national not-for-profit organization. Um, prior to 1955 and from the early 20s, we were actually the education department of CREA. So you guys have been deep-rooted in Absolutely. the industry for years. Absolutely. Decades. And, and back in the, uh, in the early 50s, um, uh, Korea decided that they wanted to continue on with their advocacy, their compliance, their, their government uh, uh, exposure and, and looking after the, the realtors on a national level and felt that education was a completely separate topic, but they wanted to be able to offer education in all aspects of real estate all across Canada as a not-for-profit organization. So they separated and formed uh, the Real Estate Institute of Canada as a completely separate entity of CREA. So we don't report to CREA anymore. We are actually located in Toronto from Ottawa. Uh, and we have our office just by the airport in, in Toronto, but we service all provinces, all territories, all across Canada. Uh, we, uh, realtors are a big portion of, of uh, what we, uh, we offer and deliver. Uh, we also have property management, commercial leasing, uh, commercial finance, reserve fund planning, um, all kinds of anything to do with uh, asset management, portfolio management, and also the realtor designations. And we have two major partners. Uh, one is IRAM, which is the Institute of Real Estate Management, which is owned and operated by NAR in, out of Chicago. We, uh, we provide all the property management uh, courses, residential and commercial, through IRAM in Canada, all across Canada. That's one of the reasons for my visit to Cal Calgary is to visit a number of different organizations while I'm here. Um, and then I go to Edmonton and then uh, on to Saskatoon, Regina, and then Winnipeg. So you're on the road quite I'm, a bit. I'm on the road quite a bit. And, and uh, part of that uh, is, is I actually teach the ethics and business practice for uh, property managers and for realtors for our FRI program. Oh, nice. So we've, we've been around for a long, long time. And uh, you know we're, we're, we're certainly getting a lot more exposure recently because the, the recognition and the, the need uh, for quality education and differentiators is, is key to our to our business. So if you were to shorten that down, and, and you know a lot of us are um, actually we have you know we have some commercial realtors, um, but you know ninety percent of our, our body is, is practicing residential. Um, if you were to condense that down and say what is what does REIC offer agents? Okay, for for the agents in in the residential uh, practice area, we have our own designation, which is the FRI, which is a fellow of the Real Estate Institute. And it is a, a second set of codes that you have to abide by, uh, all based on ethics and professionalism and uh, high professional oh, standards. I like that. So you have to comply. So if your provincial code uh, doesn't catch you up, then your membership code with REIC on ethics will. And it's how you treat your clients, how you treat your, your colleagues. Um, ethics and business practice is one of the courses that I teach. 
also legal issues. So uh, for the FRI program, essentially there are three courses that you must take in order to get the designation. And it's really a big differentiator for those that take their business very seriously and want that um, uh, exclusive uh, differentiator. Um, and that's where I got introduced to the, uh, the REIC, was taking my FRI. Oh, interesting. And mm. so there's only about 600 in Canada. Really? Yeah. Wow. So if you want something that really makes you stand out, yeah. uh, it's much of, like in law, there used to be QC, used to be Queen's yeah, Council. Yeah. Yes. That's so right. In real estate, the FRI had a similar uh, recognition factor. So if you were an FRI, it was like that secret knowledge that nobody's trying to take advantage of you. Somebody is, is, is going to have high ethical standards when they're dealing with it. And while I was a brokerage manager and... Uh, yeah, it really came came to light because the the office that I managed had thirteen hundred realtors. Wow! Oh, we need to talk. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we were we were transacting. I had one manager. Wow. Huh. Thirteen hundred and eighty six realtors when I left, and we were doing on average seventeen hundred transactions a month. Wow. So it was a massive organization, and it was a massive productivity, uh, but it also sent the message home to me that education is crucial. Absolutely. And yeah. so the FRI is, is really um, a great tool uh, to, to put in your arsenal of, of designations. Um, the three courses that you need to take are consumer behavior and negotiation. And we've partnered with the realtor, uh, The Nature of Real Estate. I don't know how many of your realtors have heard about it, mm -hmm. but it's a certified negotiation expert. It's Sue's Cummings uh, yeah. organization. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So if you want your master's of certified negotiation expert designation, you need to take three courses. One is the core course, one is for a buyer, one is for a seller. So if you take two of those three courses, we use that as an equivalent for the consumer behavior and negotiation course towards your FRI. So the only two that you would have to take after that is your ethics and business practice, which goes through your entire code, article by article, and the last day of the th three-day course, and then legal issues. And it's legal issues that, uh, case studies that, that talks about how uh, designated agency came about, how agency is, is formed, uh, the components of contracts, your, your fiduciary responsibilities, and how it ho holds up in court. Um, so these are all parts of the FRI program. So anybody that, that has their FRI has some in-depth knowledge of the law and the codes. Perfect. So it's, yeah. it's a great differentiator. And like I said, there's only about 600 in Canada. So do you want to be uh, one of 130,000 realtors or do you want to be one of 600 FRIs? Totally. That to me is a little disappointing that there's only 600. Mm -hmm. It seems like some of this should be mandatory. Yeah. And, and just because of a shift back about 20 years ago, uh, REIC became a partner with IRAM in the U.S. Yeah. So they stopped the promoting or... or uh, allowed it to, to drop down on the FRI because it was on a real up, uphill climb, but it went and it plateaued. Now a lot of the members are older right. and have retired. So yeah. the numbers, you know, the numbers coming in are basically offsetting the numbers going out yeah. uh, because of the age demographic. Uh, so the focus became on property management and uh, residential and, uh, and uh, commercial property management. So we sort of dropped the, uh, the focus on the FRI, but it's in the last three years, it has really picked up a lot. Well, and, hmm. and, you know, you say a, a disappointment and an, oppor and an opportunity right, yeah. for those people out there to be, you know, one of 600 or when 100, 100 of you do it, one in 700. Mm -hmm. So, and we will have one heck of a good percentage of all the FRIs in Calgary yeah. or in, uh, yeah. in Canada. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely. So would you say that then the most popular courses would be that FRI or are you, is REIC promoting that more now? What would be your most popular courses? For the residential realtor, yeah. that is definitely the FRI and the NAR programs. Because right. we, we've partnered with NAR um, to offer the, the ABR course, the SRS course, oh, the SRE okay. course, the Certified Real Estate Team Specialist course, um, mm -hmm. the Certified Real Estate Brokerage Manager course. Um, there's seven different, uh, seven different designations that I teach. Uh, for uh, out of the NAR venue, but there, there's about 40 different courses that are available. Uh, so it, it, it's a great network of, uh, a great opportunity to network with other people that have the designations. Uh, and we've also had the, the pleasure of being uh, engaged by NAR to fully Canadianize the courses oh, because okay. they are owned by NAR in the U.S. So a right. lot of the content yeah. was U.S. and not relevant to, to Canadian audiences. So actually we have rewritten 
the SRE S course, so the course that we, we are delivering coming up, uh, will be the fully Canadianized version of the SRES. Uh, the ABR course has been rewritten. Wow. In Canadian. <laughs> uh, if there's such a language as Canadian. Lots of, hey. lots of use added, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> color and yeah, flavor. Absolutely. And, <laughs> and there's a little typos. That there's, but again, it talks about agency and things like that. And, and there's lots of different agencies available across Canada. So it has to be more of a generic, the seven different types of agency in use in Canada right now. So we have to talk about the different ones because you have people relocating from different areas of, of right. the country yeah. that may have had agency under a different umbrella from a different province. So uh, we talked to, to everybody about that. So we've done the ABR course. It's at NER right now being approved for Canadian content. Uh, the SRES is completed. The PSA, which is the Pricing Strategy Advisor, completely done. That's all Canadianized. And now we're, we've put a proposal in to do the sellers, the SRS, the um, the seller representative specialist to Canadianize that course. Uh, it takes about six to eight months to Canadianize a course. It, it but seems the, like the, the basics yeah. of it would still apply. Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. So may I throw in another question just Please. quickly is, so how, how are these courses delivered? Do we have to go into Ontario to get them? Nope, no, we deliver them. Uh, I think we're up to about 30 real estate boards that we deliver them to now across Canada. Uh, and we cover everywhere from Halifax to Vancouver. Uh, we deliver them at individual brokerages. Uh, we do a lot of Remax offices, Royal LePage offices, and, and now CIR offices. Perfect. Um, so we'll do them individually, because a lot of brokerages don't necessarily want to send their, their, their roster to the real estate board. It may not be convenient. Um, it's a great opportunity to build camaraderie against your roster, or within your roster. Uh, quite often, realtors don't see each other. Yeah, you know, Because true. everybody's work from home, they're remote. Uh, so it gives them an opportunity to be in, in a classroom environment and get to know each other a lot better. Right. Uh, sometimes we have five or six different brokerage offices combined into one, and they'll put 60 people in a room. Okay. Um, is there any online learning? There is online learning, but if, if you wanted to take the, uh, the courses online, go to the RAIC site. Okay. Yes. Because you'll get, you'll get the Canadianized version. If you go to the NAR site and take it, you'll get the American version. Nice, great. Good to know. And okay. the uh, the the um, it's called border friendly, <laughs> is what it's called. So it's it's Canadianized to a degree, but it's not the full Canadianized in class version that we teach. Okay. Nice. So okay. so now, and we haven't we haven't actually talked to anybody about this yet or announced anything, but uh, this will sort of be the very first piece. So those of you that are online right now are going to have an opportunity to secure a spot in this. Um, we are doing. Uh, REIC course, one of the um, one of the NAR ones that you guys have, um, you know, got uh, or offer now, and it's it's the seniors course. Um, so this is happening in February next year. Just really quickly, so you guys can open up another window here. If you want to take your senior certification course in February and you want to be one of the first people to get a seat, make sure you email Kay Favrin, Kirsten, obviously, um, Kay Favrin at CIRRealty.ca, and she is going to start a waiting list for the announcement to, to get in originally, but tell us a little bit about the, the seniors certification course. It's actually my favorite course. I, I, I love teaching it. Um, and with our aging demographic, it's the 55 That's plus market. That's a really good point. It, it really uh, hits, hits home. It sends a very clear message that where else do you get to know exactly what's going on in a senior's mind? What are their fears? What are their concerns? I mean, their fears are outliving their resources. A lot of people that their entire uh, savings is in their principal residence. They don't have RRSPs. They don't have company pension yeah. plans. How do they survive? Yeah. Uh, so we talk about options that are available to them, community services, there's forgivable loans, there's grants, there's all kinds of uh, uh, programs out there for them to, allows them to age in place. Uh, one big one is, is reverse mortgages. So they can take the equity out of their out of their principal residence, stay where they are, make the necessary improvements to the house. They love their community, they love their neighborhood, they know where their doctors are, they know where the hospitals are, they know where the grocery store is, so they're not having to relocate to a different area, they can stay there and maintain their own lifestyle. Um, reverse mortgages have come a long way in the last 20 or 30 years in that they used to be self-funded and they the interest rates were astronomical, yes. the administration fees were astronomical. Yes. Um, they, they really uh, become a lot more user friendly, a lot more competitive, and there's no qualification for it. You're 55 years old, you get up to 55% of the appraised value, and you can take it in any form you like. You only pay interest on the amount that you use, 
um, and there's no repayment. The interest accrues and adds to the, the principal amount when you sell the home. Or, and, and another myth is that, that they, they lose the equity in the house. That's just not true. It becomes part of the estate. If you sell the house and move into a, a, a senior's facility, you still get all the equity in the house. So it's, it's structured exactly the same way as a, as a regular mortgage. And you cover all of this in the course. Yes. And for those of you that um, have been not having your head in the sand about the fact that we have an aging population, mm -hmm. um, this is something that is absolutely critical for, for understanding. Yeah. So, so again, email Kirsten, kfabrin at crealty.ca to secure your spot right at the beginning. We are going to have more details. Obviously, it's not until February mm -hmm. of 2018, um, but we're, we're really looking forward yeah. to having that's actually one of the first certification courses not the first, we did bring an ePro and a few other ones, but, um, but the first one in a while that we're going to be offering. And we continue to do a few more of these um, as, as it comes along here. And the, the advantage, if I may add, uh, to the, the SRES, the Seniors Real Estate Specialist uh, designation, is um, you become a member of that council. Right. And there's an annual uh, renewal fee of $99 US to renew. It's like a gym membership. If, if you can join all the gyms oh, please, you want. you'll use this one though, right? Yeah, or, yeah. <laughs> or, you, or you get a golf membership, it's great. I have a membership somewhere, but I don't use any of it. The advantage of this is it is unbelievable how much customizable material is provided by NAR and it's updated continuously. Fantastic. There's webinars, there's seminars, there's uh, call scripts, there's, there's notes that you can customize to your Canadian market, to your local market, to your particular property type market. Uh, everything is customizable, so it's, uh, it's really good value. But again, it's like everything else. If you don't use it, it's right. of no value. So not, right. just, not just a series of letters. It's also a series of resources and tools. Absolutely. Love it. Yeah. yeah. There's a blog that people can get involved in from nice. all over. Oh, and, yeah. and NAR now is in 14 countries. So there's a lot of attraction to Canadians or for overseas people moving into Canada, whether they're seniors or whether they're buyers. Um, it doesn't matter. The, the, the network and, and your name appears, once you are an SRES, appears on the NAR site. Great. So why do you think accreditation is important to realtors today? It, well, it's a differentiator um, that, that shows that you, you've gone the extra mile, you've taken extra education, you've made extra effort to familiarize yourself with the concerns of buyers or sellers or seniors or, or yeah. any, any of the different areas of, of, of real estate. and. Um, there's a lot of information that you, you know. Even if you if you take away five sounds or five bites from from the uh, from the course, that changes the way you do do business or how you look at the way you do business. It's great value. Yeah, yeah. and that's what we find. A lot of people are very surprised how they were doing things. Much like in the code of ethics, we have a lot of broker owners um, the, because we teach that course for for Rico in in, in Ontario as a disciplinary course for those that are found non-compliant or a violation of the code get to spend three quality days with me in front of in, in, in a class and you get to learn all about the, uh, the code of ethics. And it's surprising the number of long-term realtors that have been in the business and had no idea that they yeah. were going against the rules because, you know, they've been in the business 25 yep. or 30 years. Yep. The code has changed. Things yep. have changed. Things are done differently. And they've been teaching their roster incorrectly. Right. Um, and uh, they've been sent there. So we've also introduced a, uh, for the FRI program, anybody that's been in the business for 20 years or more, can fast track to the FRI where they only have to take the two courses, ethics and business practice and um, the legal issues. They don't oh, have to take the consumer yeah. behavior because we want the uh, ambassadors, That's right. the people that have been out yeah, in the business do. for a long time yeah. Yeah. that understand the importance of ethics and professionalism. We want them to be able to out there and, and uh, promote. We have a lot of um, uh, past presidents of real estate boards that are, that are FRIs, uh, brokerage owners, um, people that sit on, on various levels of, of governance with uh, organized real estate. So it's really the cream of the crop that, that get their FRIs. Um, so it, it's, a great, it's a great tool to be in amongst the networking opportunities. We do have 10 chapters yep. all across Canada. Um, they're all not-for-profit. They're all run by volunteers. Nice. Uh, our board of directors, all volunteers. Yeah. Um, that really stand behind and are very passionate about high quality education all across Well, the and Lindsay and I talked about that this morning actually, how any course is a good learning opportunity, but if you can use this for all of the reasons that you just mentioned and apply networking and further growth and updating um, and keeping in, in step with our industry, those mm -hmm. are great number one reasons to, 
to enroll in some of these courses. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gareth, we've got to wrap up here. Okay. Give us, where, do they, where do people get more information? Uh, you can go to our REIC site. Uh, the, the course information are, are there. If you look under course designations, on, on, there's a drop down box of all the different courses we offer. Uh, all the applications for the FRI, uh, there's a fast track application if you have 20 years plus. Uh, in the in the business, or if you want to take the uh, the CNE course as opposed to the consumer behavior and negotiation course that we offer, we we can organize that. And so uh, this is this is reic.ca. That's right. Awesome, awesome, yeah. Gareth. Thank you so much. I know that um, you're 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 traveling all the time, and we happen to catch you on a stopover mm -hmm. in Calgary. So thank you for giving of your time and your knowledge. And we're so excited to um, you know dip our feet back into the water in February. This, yeah. this is wonderful, and I'm happy to to uh, help out any way we can, uh, it's certainly reachable. Um, you have my email address if anybody has any questions on the NAR courses, the RM courses, or the REIC courses. I'm, uh, I'm completely mobile, uh, as are all our faculty. You know, one of the requirements okay. of faculty is that they have to be mobile. Yes. Uh, a lot of our faculty are lawyers. They teach the legal issues, they teach the nice. negotiation, they teach the code of ethics. Um, and they're all equally passionate about re uh, real estate and education, and, and uh, they don't do it for the money. <laughs> they, they do it for their passion. So That's awesome. it, uh, it's a great group of people. Good. Awesome. Good. Well, Gareth, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Awesome. Appreciate it.